This is Tina Merritt from VAR Convention 08, and I'm sitting here with Andy Cernovitz. Hey there, everybody. And Andy was one of our keynote speakers for the convention. Uh, he talked about word of mouth marketing. And Andy, define real quick, if you can define real quick, what is word of mouth marketing? I can define it real quick. <laughs> it's a word of mouth marketing is two big ideas. It's give people a reason to talk about you and then make it easier for them to tell their friends. And the tell, your, tell their friends part is one of the most important parts of word of mouth marketing, obviously. And from what you said during, the, um, during your speech, you really want to find the talkers. Those are the people you really want to find, and those might not necessarily be your clients. Yeah, there, there's a, you think about it, someone's bought a house, they bought a house. You know, they're not telling everybody to go buy one too. So there are all these other people who are talking about in these life moments. So you're, the person spreading the word of mouth may be a client, it may be an accountant, it may be a mother-in-law, it may be a friend, an office mate, a sister, someone who's going to say, oh, you know, I just, you know, I know this guy, he took care of all my friends and you need to go talk to him. So all right. Right here. And what is the best way for specifically real estate agents to achieve word of mouth marketing? I think that you've got lots and lots of information. And mm -hmm. when people talk, they need that reason to talk, as I said before. So you know, you've got gossip. You know, who's how sold and, and how much it sold for and who bought it and who sold it. And people want to know. They want to feel smart. So the more you can give people that information in a way that they can tell all their friends, there's a new site called the Block Shopper that just shares this gossip of who has what job and what they did and how much they paid. And so these are, this is an asset that you have that causes conversations. And yet when you put that listing on the printout in the window of the office, people stop. Everyone stops. Right. You've got this great topic of conversation. But it's hard to share that. The moment they step away from the window, they're not telling anybody else because it's in the window. So when that thing in the window comes with a piece of paper you take with you, you could get on the email list with that same cool listings that are going to come in your inbox every week, and now you're going to say, whoa, did you see this one? I want to forward this to a friend. And from an agent standpoint, they could get to their like entire sphere of influence and plug in where that person lives, and anytime a house sells in their neighborhood, send them an email and say, hey, this house just sold in your neighborhood, this is what it sold for, and like you said, put it in an email and that way they can forward it on to all of their friends. Exactly. Is that kind of what you're talking about? Yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly that. And not just online. See, online it works great, so don't get me wrong, that's wonderful stuff. But, you know, a good real estate broker has, you know, you guys are good at stuff. <laughs> so you've got your calendars and your magnets and your <laughs> giveaways and your doodads. But all that stuff is designed for a person to keep. Right. It's not designed for a person to share. Okay. So when you start thinking about what can I give folks that they're going to give to a friend, that they're going right. to pass out, what comes in a 10-pack, you know, right. what are the, you know, I'm sending, you know, 25 rulers to every teacher in town because they're going to give them to the kids, we're going to take them home. You know, it's about, it's a different objective. Most marketing is about I need to get the customer to buy. And what right. you're really thinking about here is how do I get a talker to share? Okay. And how, how would you recommend to agents that they solve the matchbook problem, as you call it? This is very simple. So the matchbook problem is interesting. The matchbook problem says we used to go to a restaurant, grab a book of matches, and we'd loan it to people. We'd put it in the bowl in our house. We'd pass it along. And that little matchbook just kept traveling. So the idea of the matchbook problem is never let someone walk out of your office without something to share. My favorite is if you met with a client and it was before noon, I would send them back to their office with a tray of snacks. And they'd walk into their office and everybody would say, where did you get this? And they'd say, huh, I was just talking to my broker. And they sent this for everybody. And they'd say, who's your broker? And boom, you started a word of mouth conversation. Wonderful. That's a really, really good idea. And um, expound on this quote, which I absolutely love. Advertising is the cost of being boring. Advertising is the cost of being boring. <laughs> So that this is a big idea. So I'm not saying advertising is bad. I'm saying that if you can't get people to talk about you for free or because they love you, then you have to pay magazines and newspapers to talk about you. So the more you can get good at this word of mouth stuff, the more you can be interesting, the more you can give people reasons to talk, the less you have to pay 
to start that conversation. All right. Well, for the agent who says, okay, I need to beef up my word of mouth marketing campaign. What are the top three things that they should do this weekend? Right, this weekend. Number <laughs> one, start an email newsletter. Okay. Because nothing gets forwarded faster than an email. Okay. Number two, put a telefriend form on every page of your website if you don't have it. If someone is looking at that page and they're going to share it, they, they want to tell their spouse or their buddy, hey, you should see this house, make sure they can make that recommendation in 15 seconds. And finally, think about how you can start a conversation. Do something awesome, something unusual, something interesting that everyone's going to say you're not going to believe what someone so did. That is absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Andy. We really appreciate you coming to talk to us here at VAR. And um, we'll ho we hope to hear more things from you in the future. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Bye-bye.